Welcome! In this video we'll be making a picture frame. I have an example here. Something like this. This is the end product. Well, I'm going to make one for this picture here. That's going to be smaller than this one. Uh, the first step that we need to do is we need to measure our picture. So I start with a printed picture of my dog when it was a puppy and I've left a white border around the outside here. You can do that or you can leave a little bit. It's up to you. Uh, it should be more than five inches though when you want to start between five and five and eight inches. So I'm going to start by measuring the length and width of this so I know how big my frame is going to be. So for this first measurement here it is about six and a half and I'm going to use a pencil. I'm going to write that really lightly on that edge and the reason to use a pencil really lightly is so I don't see it on the other side. I'm going to measure this other edge and this one is about six and a quarter. I'll write that right there. All right. Now those two measurements, I'm going to need to know those and remember those. So uh, I want to keep this picture nice. It might be a good idea to write it down on a scrap piece of paper somewhere so I know that it's six and a half by six and a quarter inches. And then I can carry this around and something happens to this, I don't care. And then I can put my picture someplace safe. All right, the next step is to pick out our wood. All right, I have some dimensioned boards here. These are uh, three quarter by three quarter inch dowels and I picked that because I think that's going to look nice. It'll kind of be a narrow frame around the outside of that. Uh, I need to check to see how much wood I have because I'm going to need uh, enough pieces to make two for say the top and the bottom that are six and a half and two that are six and a quarter. So if I do some calculations here and I estimate I'm going to need a little extra, but this here, if I add that up, I'm going to need a total of about, well, let's round it up to seven. Seven. I need four pieces to make the frame, so that's going to give me about 28 inches. And these, just estimating by measuring with this, I got 12, I got 24. I got about 36. So one of these is going to be enough because I'm going to need about a total of 28 inches. Uh, if I needed more, then I'd have to find another piece of wood. But what's important is that the thickness is the same on both pieces. So these would work together. I'm only going to need one of these. Here we are at the router table. Let's take a closer look at what kind of bit is in there. This is called a rabbit bit or rabbiting bit. Uh, it has a ball bearing that runs along the top here and the wood's going to ride along that and then this part is going to cut that rabbit which is going to be that inside of the frame part. So you can see here's a longer piece, this part's cut, here's a shorter piece It gives you an idea about how that's going to fit together. And let's see how this thing works. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to feed this in here along here. Of course, I want to keep my fingers away from the blade. I'm going to start a little ways in. So I'm not going to start on the end of the board. I'm going to start by pushing this in here. And then I'm going to feed this through here. I'm going to move this hand here. I'm going to keep my hands far away from there. And I'm going to pull it through the other side. All right. Here we go.
rabbited all the way down at the beginning. I didn't rabbit this first part because I pushed it in starting there and that's okay because that'll get cut off. All right, now we're ready to start hand cutting our miters. Here we are at the miter box where you can hand cut the miters for your frames. I'm gonna show you how to use this miter box. We're gonna to need to know our dimensions of our picture, which is six and a half by six and a quarter. Yours might be different, but you need to know those for this step. And of course, we need our uh, rabbited board. Uh, let's take a closer look at how this works. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this end off here. Uh, if you look at your board, there's gonna be a wider part and a narrower part. We're gonna take the wider part and we're gonna put it right here in this clamp. So that part goes down. We wanna make sure that this is pushed past where the saw is gonna cut it. And then I'm gonna hold that down. I'm gonna tighten this clamp here. All right, the saw is guided in and out by these two metal posts. And there's a slot in there. And there are some features of this that keep the saw from hitting the metal. But you still need to be careful with this. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see some of these. If you look very closely right here, there's a pin that sticks out. And that pin holds the saw up for when you need to put the wood in and out and adjust it. But to get that to go down, you just hit it a little bit. And now the saw is ready to make contact with the wood down below here. Uh, notice also there's some stops right here. That's going to keep the saw from going all the way through and touching uh, the bed here. Uh, but you still need to be careful with that as you saw. So now that that's set, I'm ready to make my first cut. Then I lift the saw up until those stops come out so I can work with my material. You can see right there we have a nice miter. I'm going to loosen that. Take a look, looks good. All right, now I'm gonna to need to set this stop to the right amount. I've drawn out my frame here. Remember it's six and a half by six and a fourth. And so just to draw this out to picture it, I have labeled these. These dimensions are actually the inside part right here where the picture goes. And these are what I'm gonna set the stop to right here, this white stop. So uh, I'll cut these six and a halfs first. I need two of them for the top and the bottom. And I'm going to uh, put this in as well. I'm not going to tighten this all the way down, but I want to be able to see where this part right here, where this corner is, where that measurement comes up. So this is six. That's seven. So six and a half is right in between. So I'm going to loosen these. And I'm going to move this back just so those meet the wood and the white stop meet right at six and a half. Now I can tighten the stop down so it doesn't move and I can tighten the wood down and now that distance between the cut over here and that is going to be six and a half. I'm going to do two of these. All right, there's my first one, and it should be six and a half from here to here so that my, the top of my picture fits in. I need two of these. I'm gonna leave the stop and do the same thing again. Notice this miter is going the wrong way, so I'm gonna have to start by going back to the left side of the miter box and cutting that miter. move this just past where the saw is going to cut. I'm going to check that. Nope, not enough. So I need to move that a little more this way. And I'm going to check to make sure it makes that miter. Yep. One looks good. This is my other cut at six and a half, so I make sure that's at six and a half. Tighten that down. Go ahead and make that cut. All right. 
So these will be the top and bottom. They should be exactly the same size. Now I'm ready to do the left and right sides. So for the left and the right sides, I needed to measure six and a quarter on the inside. So I just cut that rabbit on this side. Now I'm going to turn it over here. I'm going to have the white stop and this corner meet up at six and a quarter. So I need to move this to the left at six and a quarter and tighten down the white stop, clamp my board in place, and make the cut. I've got my four frame pieces. Two of them should be six and a half, two should be six and a quarter. Let's see if these line up correctly. Let's see here. All right, and if you did it correctly, they should all line up to make a rectangle. And my picture should fit perfectly inside of there. Let's check. Yep, that's gonna work. 